Brazil, though, is improving in other aspects, especially in labor rights. The country's Congress recently passed a constitutional amendment expanding legal protection for domestic workers. For many, it's a milestone that may erase memories of slavery that still cast a shadow in Brazil. Paulo Cabral reports. Times are changing for domestic employees in Brazil. A new constitutional amendment has given them rights that had long been guaranteed to other categories of workers, like a fixed journey, the payment of overtime and compensation in case of dismissal. I think the majority of people accepted it pela necessidade, né, digamos. I think many people accepted to work without labor rights out of necessity. We have to think of our future. We all work for a better life and it doesn't matter what a person does. If it's honest work, it deserves recognition. I think the law is correct because it acknowledges the rights of domestic workers, but on the other hand, it does not create some difficulties for employers. For example, my maid lives here in my house. It's going to be too much if I have to pay her extra hours for all the time that she is here. I am not even sure how I will calculate this. But not everybody supports the bill. This lawyer is the founder of a home employers association that strongly opposes the constitutional amendment. Many employers will have to fire their maids and hire cleaners to come once or twice a week. They will have to start buying frozen food and using the laundry services. And there will be companies that will be created to provide domestic services. Having full-time maids is an old habit of Brazilian middle and upper classes. It's a consequence of the dramatic social differences that exist in this country. However, over the last few years, the picture has been changing quite a lot. With economic growth, domestic workers could demand better salaries and claim their labor rights. It's a major social shift happening in Brazil. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.